friends to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Come inside the final cut with the movie man as we take a look at a film from 1986. Now, before we get started, when I say the name Howard Ashman and Alan Menken, you probably think of be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Or you may be thinking of under the sea. Under the sea. Well, before they were giving us tales as old as time and telling us where it was better down where it was wetter, Alan Menken and Howard Ashman came up with this off-Broadway musical based off of the Roger Corman cult classic, Little Shop of Horrors. Yes, folks. And let me tell you, this movie is too much fun, okay? It's based off the musical. It's got most of the musical numbers in it. And if you don't know the story, well, basically you got Seymour Clark, uh, excuse me, Seymour Krellborn, who works at a flower shop, a down-and-out flower shop on Skid Row, basically going broke and, you know, things aren't going so well, until he comes across this strange plant that seems to help turn their success around just by featuring the plant, though the plant has a special diet that Seymour tries to uh, uh, satiate, to, to give to the plant so it grows, so as it grows, so does his success and his luck, so he feels. And as the plant grows, he learns that it talks and it gives him even more promises, and you can imagine that things aren't exactly what they seem with the Audrey II plant. Folks, Little Shop of Horrors is just so much fun. Now, it's 1986, but they shoot it similar to the stage play it's based off of, so it doesn't have too much dating going on as far as the way it is, because it's set, you know, uh, during a specific time anyway. So, it, the look of it still would stand up to it today. But, let's not talk about just the look and the sets, which were awesome and fit well and just made you really get stuck into uh, this world where Seymour Krellborn and the Audrey II plant live. But, let's also talk about these fantastic musical numbers. I mean, first off, who knew Rick Moranis, who plays Seymour in the film, could sing, and he does it well. And then you have the very talented Ellen Green, who plays Audrey. She's got this kind of high voice that she carries out throughout the film perfectly. And unlike some actresses, who uh, we will not name, who can't exactly carry an accent through a film, she keeps this voice dead on, even in her musical numbers, which is just fantastic, and I love her voice, especially in the Suddenly Seymour song. Okay, and then you've got a Vincent Gardina, who was a Cosmo in Moonstruck, okay, he plays Mushnik, who owns the flower shop where Seymour works. You've got a bunch of cameos in here, you've got... John Candy, James Belushi, Christopher Guest, Bill Murray. Uh, you've got Steve Martin in here as the sadistic dentist. How appropriate is that? And he does a fantastic performance of uh, To Be a Dentist. I mean, all the musical numbers are spot on and well performed and well directed. Frank Oz just nails this whole film, okay? You definitely feel like you're watching a big screen version of the stage production, but still a little feel like you're watching it on the stage, which is great for a film like this. It fits it so perfectly, okay? And and these, like I said, but you know, there's also uh, three ladies in there who uh, do the kind of intro music in that, and they, they do some fantastic numbers as well, and they're by the names of uh, uh, Tashina Arnold, uh, who actually was recently in The Great Divided, uh, and she plays Crystal, and then you got Michelle Weeks. This was her only movie, and she played Ronette, and Trisha Campbell, excuse me, Tisha Campbell, who was Chiffon. This is a great, fun movie from 1986, folks. And no CGI here on our plant, Audrey 2, okay? Lots of puppeteering going on, lots of awesome puppeteering going on and it's definitely a movie that should be checked out by anyone who likes musicals loves the performers in there or just looking for a fun movie to watch with some very unusual colorful songs from two gentlemen who we mostly associate with a little bit of cleaner fare that's right folks little shop of horrors five stubs in my book no question there Definitely going to get it when it uh, comes out eventually. Hopefully it comes out on Blu-ray. Unfortunately, they're remaking it. So who knows where, where they're going to go with that one. Maybe it'll be good, but it, I don't think they'll ever capture just quite the, uh, the chemistry and the overall feel that the original 1986 film gave us back then. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuck.